In this episode, we'll be fixing this Game Boy Advance. Welcome to this electronic project series. We will be unboxing, fixing, modifying all sorts of electronic projects. It will involve video game consoles, handhelds, and anything that we can think of. If you like this kind of stuff, stay tuned and enjoy the show. Alright guys, so we got this uh, Game Boy Advance and in my last video we did a we kind of checked to see if it was if it was working but unfortunately it is not you know there's no cover it's really in bad physical condition the it's really dirty it's really grimy too um, the screen is really scratchy there the buttons this button is out of place it looked like it fell or cracked I don't know what happened and the screen also um, is busted so what we're gonna do we're gonna take it apart and see how it uh, um, see if it works All right, so we opened the case and this is what we got. One thing I, um, so when removing the screws, I re, uh, you know, opening the case, what I found was, you know, it's really dirty. The screws are really rusted. And uh, I, for a second there, I thought it was uh, gonna be, it's gonna have some water damage. Um, so I'm gonna, so, so it looks like here, there's some water damage here oh shit see this is a bunch of corrosion power switch corrosion corrosion on this uh, capacitor anyway so I'm thinking we're gonna continue removing the board we're gonna remove the ribbon cable um, remove these screws and uh, let's do it all right so it looks like this is this is a lot of water damage on this and um, Look at it. Here, 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 here. I don't know if this is actually going to be salvageable. Look at the water damage. I would guess the water just can here or mold, whatever this is. This is corrosion. Oh my god. Maybe battery acid? Oh shit. I think we better wear some gloves too. Oh man. Yeah. Oh boy. Okay, so what I think I'm going to do, do is clean this up. We're gonna get some alcohol. Maybe first see if there's the fuses are okay. Alright guys, so I got this multimeter. We're gonna go and test it. Use the fuses right here. There's, as you can see, there is no continuing in the fuse. Well, let me see if I clean this up first. We can see if it cleans it up, if it gets rid of that. I got my brush and alcohol and slowly cleaned up the corrosion that was stuck on that board. It took a while for me to make a dent in removing that corrosion. And in the back of my mind, I'm kind of worried if I will be successful in fixing this board. But I won't give up. I feel like I just started and will continue going on. Alright guys, so I took out the microscope. And uh, to use it to um, clearly see how to clean the corrosion because um, it's really small and uh, look at the fuse here F1 you can really see that um, you can really see that it is you can really see 
see how it is, you know, very small. You can see. But there's a lot of corrosion on here, as you can see. But we're gonna go ahead and continue cleaning it. So I'm starting to get worried a little bit because there is a lot of corrosion. And I've been cleaning almost an hour now. And uh, there's, still, there's still a lot of corrosion on here. Um, so that's why I took out the microscope to hopefully get rid of it. I'm really contemplating of uh, maybe soaking. At this point, I was really contemplating in soaking the motherboard with uh, alcohol because there is a lot of corrosion in this board and I don't know if just brushing would do it justice. Maybe an overnight soap would help? I don't know. But at this time I was really worried of removing all that corrosion. While brushing the motherboard I accidentally removed a resistor on the bottom right hand corner and I think that I might have made this board worse. I do have a hot air gun and I believe I can put that resistor back again but you know that's just another uh, bump in the road to fixing this motherboard. So hopefully I can get that done. Um, I'm going to continue brushing and removing the corrosion and here we go. After another hour of removing that corrosion, I am really thinking if I need a sonic cleaner. Uh, it would really help me in, my, in this situation, but I don't have one. I really need to probably buy one, um, especially if I'm going to do this more often. But in the meantime, I've tested the fuse with a multimeter again after cleaning it and the fuse is dead. So we will need to refuse to replace that fuse. Uh, that will need to be in another episode. I think I'm done for today. So stay tuned for the next episode of this video. I will be continuing in fixing this board. Stay tuned for the upcoming episode of fixing this Game Boy Advance because I really got a lot of plans for this project. I want to put a new backlight screen on this Game Boy Advance and uh, do a custom paint job on the shell. I'm really excited for this project and I hope you enjoy watching these videos and see you next time.